Continuing on at <coughs> Touchy Feely Warm Fuzzies Consulting, Alex writes, <coughs> Hey Aaron, I'm a 24-year-old guy. Please do not mention the place. Making this request for my 19-year-old girlfriend. She was recently just discharged from the military, serving as a nurse, getting some basic medical training to treat the wounded and sick. To work as a nurse in the private sector, she's going to need a degree. Problem is, she's it, she worked <clears throat> in a very busy infirmary, which took its toll on her mental health, bringing her to the point of anxiety attacks and other problems, which eventually led to her discharge. Charge. Also, she's very prone to sickness and probably doesn't want to go for it because of the infection risk with her weak immune system. Currently, she's employed in a very big insurance company, customer service department, handling health insurance claims. It's a nice unionized workplace, and she's successful there, scoring among the highest in professional. Yeah, but does she make money? I don't care about ratings. That's, that's set. <clears throat> don't fall for that malarkey. Also, this job has some promotion options in about a year. However, the pay is meager, and most people in the company who've been working there for decades usually don't cross the $30,000 mark. You can make more babysitting. You really could. If you had some muscle, you could make more babysitting. It's nice because of the bonuses, benefits, etc. And she also found that she likes the insurance business. Well, that's good. But she thinks she'll be unable to work in this business abroad as her current workplace doesn't provide her with an official diploma. Well, why would they? she got to go to college for that. Only experience which is relevant only to where we currently live. <clears throat> I myself am ex-military guy serving four years, currently in the midst of a computer science degree. Outstanding and employed in our local tech industry. Our ultimate goal is to move abroad, probably to Ireland or somewhere else in the EU. She has French citizenship, which will make things easier for us. That being said, we are working our heads for months on what kind of study she should pursue. We have considered various options. Here are our, conclu here's our conclusions. <clears throat> it's sad that English is probably your second language, but you speak it better than me. Uh, she's interested in biology. No! No biology, no bio, nothing. Biology, no. No, 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 no. It's the word on, but switched around, and it means no. Other sciences, researching, or maybe becoming a professor, pastry, law and accounting. So far, the only thing that made sense in that is accounting. Tuition in our country is very cheap, but it's probably better for her to study here before we move. Two, she also found some interest in web development, is currently taking a boot camp in Udemy. There you go. However, she doesn't want to pursue a computer science degree or any other engineering degree for that matter because she's lazy. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I added that. I'm, I'm terribly sorry, dude. I mean, to, I totally meant to say that. <clears throat> Due to ha her having severe difficulties with math, I no, no, we don't do that. We don't do that here at Fluffy Bunny Cuddly's Consulting. You know we do not do that here. She's always needed a tutor since first grade and barely finished high school math. All right, I'll believe this when she takes an IQ test and tries. I will. I'll believe that she takes I IQ tests and trucks. Now we're taking high school math to be able to pursue some degree insufficient credits. The country we live in is flooded with useless lawyers and biologists. Yeah, don't do biology or law. Although she really likes that. It doesn't matter what she likes. Have you guys watched the channel? You see the channel? Has she watched it? Do you know the channel? I like fabricating with well-endowed redheads doesn't mean I'm going to get paid for it. She's okay with becoming a pastry chef, but would rather be an academic. Why would anyone listen to her? What wisdom does she bring? I'm sorry. I'm being deadly honest. This is Fluffy Buddies. She's not smart. She has no real experience. She cracks. She's weak. Why would anyone... What right does she have to go and tell other young minds what to think? I, I'm being deadly serious. What does she... What would, why would anyone listen to her? I become a professor. Why don't you just become a teacher? Pastry is also flooded over here with wages somewhere around the minimum. Oh, really? You mean the Cordon Bleu and, and uh, Brown College that went belly up? And all those, all those uh, culinary schools that went belly up? Oh, what's that? Ugh. What the hell is that? It's not a B. <clears throat> all right. She likes the idea of being an accountant, okay, but worries about job prospects abroad. We aren't sure those skills could be converted through to other countries. Please tell us more if you can about that path. We have absolutely no information about this one, especially regarding being an accountant in Ireland with a foreign degree. Okay, well, the, accounting is universal, but there are some tweaks and differences depending on, I wouldn't even say the country, but the regions. Now, you are not from Europe. Um, 
but but uh, and and learning where you are now accounting would definitely apply. You know, it's balance sheets, debits, credits, uh, the the accounting cycle. That's all universal. But then there's uh, some reporting standards that uh, that differ. That's why you have the International Accounting Standards Board. So I would learn that. I'd also learn FASB, federally accepted. No, federally accepted. Federal Accounting Standards Board. Forgot what it meant. They're the ones that set up the laws in the United States. But <clears throat> I would go and take a look at how Ireland or the EU, what kind of accounting they they instruct. I know the Scandinavian countries are a little weird. They did their income statements a little bit differently. But debits, credits, and double entry bookkeeping. That's that's universal. So you you're gonna get like ninety five percent carryover. Uh, but if you're really worried about it, learn what. The IASB, International St Hang on, let me double check. Or is it IASF? I'm confusing all my acronyms. I used to know this when I was paid for this stuff. International Accounting Standards Board. There we go. I would look for tutorials online or not, classes based on that. But we have absolutely no information, especially regarding becoming an accountant with, in Ireland with a foreign degree. All right, so what? on top of that, <clears throat> she'll probably likely want to become a CPA. And each country, there you got to find out what the sitting requirements and educational requirements are to become a CPA there. So I'd almost use that template to figure out where she's got to go and get a degree. Because if they're not going to recognize a degree from your home country, you might as well wait till you get to Ireland to go and take those those classes. Uh, but if they do recognize it, and sometimes there's uh, reciprocity between countries, like I know Hong Kong, Australia, and the United States all have a reciprocity. Like, oh, you got a CPA? Okay, well, you get a CPA here. Sometimes you got to take an extra class or two. But I would see what it takes to become a CPA in Ireland <clears throat> and then figure out what those requirements are and then meet those requirements. All she, she wants to stay at, become a WAHM, a work-at-home mom. She likes the idea of raising the kids herself, but also wants to stay economically self-sufficient. She has no business ideas except for maybe selling cakes. No, 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 that's not, no. Look, tell her to knock it off with the girl ideas. I want to sell cakes. I want to sell ice cream. I want to make chocolates. I'm really good with children. No. Grow the F up and become a real person. She needs to get a real job right, if she's going to go to school. right? So knock it off with this. I'm going to become a pastry chef. Or I'm going to become a doily maker. I'm going to become a, a florist for weddings. Knock it the F off. Grow up. Grow a pair. And help you out, frankly. That's what it boils down to. She's either going to carry your weight. Does she want to carry your weight? Good. Then knock it off with this childish thinking of stupid degrees and stupid careers that don't pay. And we'd all like to work at home. And you know how you work at home? By majoring in something that's in super high demand like you. You're going to have a higher chance of working at home because you're working at, well in a field that lends itself well to working from home. It can be from, done from anywhere. It's over the internet. Here's my code. See ya. Bye. I'm off to the beach. But she wants to work at pastries? And she wants to be a lawyer? Okay, an account maybe. You could open up your own little accounting shop. I grant you that. But what? Is she, gonna, she wants to work in lumber, but she wants to work from home? Well, you, that's not going to happen. So accounting is so far the only one that looks good. But I honestly, based on how weak she sounds, I don't think she'll be able to hack accounting because she's lazy or she's too weak. One of the two or both. And if and show her this and tell her to prove me wrong. I'm, I'm sure the sight of blood did not. I'm sure infirmaries weren't nice. I guarantee you. But you couldn't handle it. And then you think you're going to go become a nurse? Uh, a lot of blood. A lot of, a lot of needles. A lot of, a lot of sadness and death. A lot of gore. Oh, and, and, and what was the, oh, you didn't like math? Oh, you didn't like math. What do you think accounting is? Now, admittedly, it's no more advanced than, than division and multiplication and percentages. Um, but it's a lot of rules. It's not, she, she keeps looking for this easy crap out. Knock it off. Grow up. Become an adult. And, and I'm going to address something else when we get to it down the road. But there's another option for her. Uh, she likes the idea of raising the kids herself, but also wants to stay economic and self-sufficient, which I appreciate. I understand. She has no business ideas, though maybe selling cakes and doing web development as a freelancer. That's not bad. Becoming a web developer, although it's a bit commoditized. Uh, a computer programmer, joining you in computer science, that might, or going to Udemy and learning some languages, that'd be good. You don't need to know calculus to, to do that. And I'll watch somebody technically in this one language. Shut up. 
Assuming she'll be able to achieve that skill would be splendid if she can find a career in a law firm. Look, if she can get into programming, web development, or accounting, she could do the work at home mom. All right. Here's the other idea. Oh, crazy Clary. How about she just supports you as, as a stay-at-home wife? How about she just is a homekeeper? She just cleans the house, maintains the house, clips coupons, budgets, runs errands, and you have this, I don't know, nuclear family where people specialize. You go make the money, she takes care of the home. And then when she has kids, she takes care of the kids and raises and takes care of the home. I don't know if it's worked. I don't know if humanity has ever tested that theory, that working relationship. I don't know if that's ever been done in the history of humans. But it, you could pioneer, you could blaze a new trail where if she just doesn't want to work a real gig, she doesn't want to put in the hard work and ethic, eh, fine, fine. Stay at home, take care of the house. That's your job. Vacuum clean, not every day. Don't, don't make, my old man made my poor mom clean every freaking day. Don't, don't, do, don't do that. But you know, like, keep the house in order. All right, go do the shopping so that when I get home, you and I can go out that night. We can spend time together. Oh, and by the way, part of being a stay-at-home is she stays in shape. That's the other thing. She gets sexy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the real world demands things of people. Otherwise, you're not going to get other things from people. Oh, who knew? You just can't be born out of the hoo-ha and everything just is given to you for free unless you're a Democrat and you vote for socialism and welfare. Six, thinks you could work in insurance abroad with experience from our place without needing to start from scratch again. If that place has international operations, yes, but right now it's customer service. I mean, yeah, she could work as a customer service agent and have another crappy job in a foreign country. Sure. I mean, there's nothing wrong with making a little bit of scratch. Look, if you guys are minimalist, $30,000 from her, $60,000 from you, that's a lot of money. Right? There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but I, if, if the company is international, that will help. But, you know, you said it yourself. People have worked there for decades and they don't break $30,000. Well, you know, can, can I do customer service overseas? Yes, you could pick up phones and answer them overseas. A, a particularly high paying job, but they will, you know, she, honestly, she should probably just Uber. I mean, you want to go overseas and make some money, have her Uber. I'm just trying to think of things that are just like easy and require no education because she doesn't seem to have the work ethic or temerity is it integrity. Temerity, I think. I don't think she's got it in her or the willpower to do it. So I'm kind of going more wifey poo, stay at home and support me. Not me, you, I mean. Also, what kind of degree or other studies could she integrate with this industry abroad? The best thing would be to become an actuary. She studies actuarial science, but you're going to kind of face the same problem with accounting. You've got to figure out what the certifications are to become an actuary in Ireland. So find out what tests you got to take in Ireland. Find out what degrees are recognized in Ireland and see if where you are. You could be, but I, I, now there's math. If she doesn't like math, though, I don't even have her bother becoming an actuary. Uh, please state your price. So uh, so to the point, what do you think she should do? What is your perspective? about? I, I, look, you got to have a come to Jesus meeting with her and say, are you going to work hard and try? And, and, and if you don't have to tell her, hey, look, lady, are you going to work hard and try? Are you going to carry your weight? And, and, and we got to find out if you can. That's another thing. It could be, it could be you just truly aren't that good at math. Uh, but I, I'm, for every one person I've seen that really just was bad at math, I've seen 9,999 that were lazy and try at math. And oh, you, you, oh, I know this sounds so horrible. Oh, you had a breakdown? You had post traumatic stress? Was this a battlefield unit? Were you on the front lines in Afghanistan? Or is this one I'm, I'm really suspicious, I'm 80% sure this is another spoiled 19 year old child? You know, and, and if you think that you're going to have post traumatic stress, you think you're going to have, have uh, issues, you're going to have, what are they, what are they, anxiety attacks? Because you're going to handle it in an infirmary? The real world is not, there's other monsters out there that are worse than an infirmary, like a cubicle and a commute and being stuck in traffic day in, day out. I think your, your girlfriend, you guys really got to get that IQ tested. You really got to see what she's capable of. And if she isn't that capable, okay, then we know. Then don't bother with actual science. I wouldn't even say bother with accounting. Uber, keep working as the insurance agent. 
and then your wifey poo, and you're going to support your husband. That's it. That And that's the best friend. There's nothing wrong with that. Everyone thinks that being a wife is just staying home eating bonbons and watching Oprah. That's in America. In, in a traditional, healthy, functioning environment, being a housekeeper was a very important thing, and it was very helpful to the relationship. Not only did you maintain the homes, it was nice and everything, but then you were in charge of the budget. You would make an extra, you know, make a dollar, go further. You increase per It's very vital. And every every everybody's capable of that. You don't have to be a math genius to do that, to go find deals or go with Groupon or whatever else. But then you're also staying in shape for your husband because he's supporting you. I know. It's, oh, my God. Oh, gee, it's so horrible. But, yes, that's my honest opinion. You need to assess whether she can do certain things. Um, I do like computer science. I like the programming. I like the Udemy. Even accounting. Cool. But first assess whether you can do that. All right? And then if you find out you can, knock it off with, oh, I can. Oh, I'm not good. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. no. We don't do that here. We do not do excuses. We find solutions. All right, that's it. I know that's pretty harsh, but I, uh, I, I just, I, I got to beat people's rears to get people to be stronger and galvanized. Otherwise, it, no one's going to improve. We're all just going to sit and eat bonbons and watch Oprah and become fat American... Can't say that word. Female pigs. There we go. All right, we'll see you kids later. Toodles.